Hey there everyone, what's up? Uh, today, today I'm doing a package unboxing. It's not really an unboxing because I've already unboxed it. But uh, I'm not going to show you the box because there's a big address on it. You don't need to, you don't need to see that. But uh, yeah, I did do a trade recently with uh, Crack Lotus, who I traded some stuff that he wanted. Um, if you want to check that out, check out his channel. It's a good channel. I um, I really like Crack Lotus. Uh, he does a lot of stuff like I do, in the sense that he's just a dude talking in front of a camera. It's nothing fancy. And uh, if that sounds appealing to you, then head on over, because he gets a thumbs up from me. But uh, besides that, I did send him stuff, and in return, he sent me stuff, because that's how a trade works. And, yeah... This, I'll start off by saying, like, most of this stuff is not stuff I'm, like, super hyped for or anything. Uh, actually, I, I kind of have a rough time finding stuff to trade with people from the U.S. in the sense that um, a lot of the stuff that comes out in the U.S. obviously comes out in Japan also. So, stuff that's, like, nor North American exclusives are kind of rare. I mean, they're not exceedingly rare it's just it's rare in the sense that they kind of meet in the <laughs> where it's in an area that it's also something i want to play but um yeah there is some stuff and not all of these are exclusives obviously uh some of them were just like oh well it's the difference between paying forty dollars or ten dollars so that that kind of difference is also there and that's actually that's the majority of these but anyway, we'll get into it. First one here is Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate. And this got terrible reviews, I think. I think it got awful reviews, actually. But, but <laughs> again, don't pay attention to the rev I don't really pay attention to reviews all that much. Uh, I look at them, of course. But generally, the numbers don't mean anything to me. I just kind of read what people say and kind of form my own opinion from that. But... And this one was on my list when it came out originally, but the Japanese release was staggered by a couple months or so. So this game is still, like, even used, it's still about $40 or something in Japan. And it was on sale in the U.S. for, like, $10 or something. So I added it to the trade list. And recently, uh, Games of War was saying that this was really good and I should check it out. So I thought, well, I trust Josh. <laughs> um, obviously, I, tr I trust his opinion and... Uh, I do like the Batman games. I didn't play Batman Arkham Origins, though, and I don't really plan to play it any time in the future. But I do want to play this, so it sounds good. I got this. And next we've got uh, The Third Birthday. The Third Birthday is, like, um, was something that I was just kind of like, it's on my PSP list of stuff to get, and I just haven't played it yet. And I think most people don't really like this game, but... I am a huge, huge fan of the uh, Parasite Eve series, and I, I, you know, I didn't get this because it's a shooter, and you know, I figured whatever, I'll, I'll eventually play it. And it's super cheap everywhere. It's super cheap in Japan too, but uh, you know, I just added it because it's it's like something you could throw in that was cheap. <laughs> that was pretty much it. I'd, it's probably about the same price in Japan also. Uh, next one is actually a, a game that didn't get released in Japan and is expensive to get here because it's an import and, again, it didn't have a Japanese release, so people who like the series, buy it, regardless of the price. And that game is this, Silent Hill Homecoming. I know, like, virtually every Silent Hill game past, like, three, maybe, didn't really get good reviews. Um, I don't care. Again, I like... There's not a Silent Hill game I don't like. Um, all of them are varying degrees of good to me. So obviously there's better ones than others, but you know there's there hasn't been one that I thought like oh this sucks. So Silent Hill Homecoming is the only PSP and um, the PSP the only Silent Hill game that I didn't have because it never came out here. So this actually completes my Silent Hill collection for games. Um, I will get around to this probably pretty soon, actually, even though it's a pretty old game. Uh, next game is 
another game that didn't get released in Japan, probably not a popular choice for most people, but this is a Tornado Outbreak. And the Tornado Outbreak is kind of like a uh, Katamari Damashi ripoff in the sense that um, in, instead of a building a Katamari, you're building a, you have this tornado and you run around with a tornado and kind of collect buildings and things and the tornado gets bigger. That's opposite of the actual way tornadoes work, but whatever. <laughs> um, anyway, Tornado Outbreak I, I read that it's like a not quite as fun Katamari game, and I thought, well, whatever, Katamari is fun for me, so Tornado Outbreak should be fun for me. And I know <laughs> when I have people over, like usually I have some parties at my house or something, and people will come over, and everybody always ends up playing um, the Katamari games on the PS3, and I figured you know, this is new, it's different, and it's kind of similar, so I think people would probably enjoy playing it too, so, and I'll probably enjoy playing it, even though, you know, it's kind of relatively unknown. Uh, the last two here, we've got, um, uh, Remember Me on the PS3, uh, I know this was on PS Plus in the US or North America recently, not in Japan though, uh, this did come out a little bit later in Japan also, and it's still pretty expensive so again this is another one that was like super cheap in the US and not super cheap in Japan so he was on the list uh, I, I I think a lot of people didn't like that game but I'm willing to give it a shot because I like cyberpunk stuff and I like kind of the I don't know concept of it I don't know how it's gonna work in the game but whatever I'll give it a shot the last game here is uh, Blood Bowl for the Xbox 360. Originally, I wanted this on the PSP, but uh, Crack couldn't find it on the PSP. But he did find it on the 360 for really cheap. So, I just, what the hell, I'll just take it on the 360. Um, Blood Bowl ter got reviewed terribly. But I think people went into it, if you were a reviewer and you never played Blood Bowl before, and then you went into the game you probably would hate it because you'd think like, oh, this is going to be like Mutant League football or something. But it's not an action football game. It's like a s strategy board game. And this is apparently a, you know, relatively all right simulation of the board game, which I used to play when I was in like middle school or high school, probably middle school. But Blood Bowl was, um, you know, pretty fun for me. And I was like, out of my friends, like I was probably the only person who built my own Blood Bowl team, like I painted all the miniatures for it, everyone else just used <laughs> placeholder miniatures because nobody wanted to buy, buy Blood Bowl themselves, but I built my own Blood Bowl team, and uh, I really liked Blood Bowl, so I figured I'd get the game and see how it is, but yeah, that's about it, that's the trade package, I didn't trade him nearly as much stuff, um, so I, I kind of feel like I got a the better end of the deal, which, uh, you know, good for me, but I kind of feel bad about that. But, yeah, you know, if you want to see what I traded him, uh, feel free to head over to Crack Lotus's channel, and while you're there, you might as well subscribe, because I know he does a lot of good stuff that is entertaining and just fun to watch. So, that's about it. That's about it for this video, and about it for my talking about Crack Lotus's channel in this video, and for the package. So yeah, I will see you guys next time.